What is going on, builders? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So in this episode, we're gonna be actually aquascaping my daughter's little 10 gallon fish tank. It was housing these cute little goldfish that is Goldine and Nemo, but they're getting a little too big for the tank and she really liked my aquascape in Dallas, so I figured let's jump into it. So this is the tank now, as you can see, I did paint the rim, the top, and the stand for her to kind of match her room. And she does really like the background and so does my wife, so I figured we'll leave that on there and we'll aquascape it, why not? Now before I actually start this build, I did need to run to a store to pick some stuff up. And I ran over to my good friend Alexa's store called Bad Fish in Jupiter, Florida. She has really awesome aquatic plants and fish, and I knew she could help me pick out some hardscape for this particular build and some plants as well. Now back at home, I decided to get the substrate ready. I'm actually going with pool filter sand, which you can get at your local hardware store, because it's actually a cheaper alternative than buying aquatic sand, but it does the same exact thing. You just need to wash it a little bit more than you would your average fish store sand. I'm also adding a bag of Seacam Fluorite Red for plant growth in this tank because I do want this tank to fill in very nicely and this stuff is great for plants. You do need to rinse it pretty good before, even though there's a lot of debate online about this, you need to rinse it before you put it in your tank because it will make your tank nothing but a cloudy mess. Now the rock I went with is, from my understanding, it's just called mountain rock but it's gray and the picture on the back of my daughter's tank, it has gray rock in it and I kind of wanted it to match. These really caught my eye because they have a beautiful white streak going through some of them, but it's time to kind of design the hardscape, get an idea of what I want to do inside this little tank. All right, now that I got that, it's time to add the piece of spiderwood. This is actually a piece I pulled out of an old paludarium I had set up in the past, and I like it. I think it's gonna look pretty neat inside the tank. So I brought the tank outside to make it a little easier to build than building it inside my daughter's room. Starting with the fluoride on the base so the plant roots can grow into it and get all the nutrients out of it. And then moving on to the sand, pitching it towards the back so it gives it some sort of depth. Now, while adding the rock, I'm trying to get it as close as possible to the design I had earlier on the table. Also, when I'm putting the spider wood in here, like I said earlier, because this was previously in a paludarium, it's already been pre-soaked and it doesn't float anymore. But I do want to take that extra precaution and actually super glue it to the big rock that it is sitting on. Once I get all the rocks in place and I really like it, it's time to start planting this tank. Now starting with the plants, I'm working from the back towards the front, starting with the biggest plants, putting them against the back wall. Now I got things that somewhat mimic the picture in the back, kind of making it look like it's continuing into the tank.
Now with most of the plants as well, I'm pinching the roots with the tweezers and then shoving them down into the substrate and then opening up the tweezers so they kind of get stuck in the substrate and then using them again to kind of pack the soil or substrate back around the roots if anything were to come out. I did actually end up removing some of the contortion valve because I wanted to replace it with something else in the back corners. Now I did end up replacing it someplace else, but I figured these two plants would look better here than the contortion valve. Now I'm actually using super glue to attach these Anubias petites to the spider wood in just a couple of different various places, making it look like the plants are growing around the spider wood. That's it guys, hopefully you did enjoy this build. This was really fun, I really enjoyed it, and I know my daughter is absolutely going to love it. Now help me decide on what fish you think I should put in here for her. I cannot put the goldfish in here because they will actually eat the plants. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, and let's get that subscriber count up. I will see you guys in the next build as always.